Also remember that the auric shield, as powerful as it is, does not give you license to act recklessly, carelessly, or foolishly. There was a South Park episode in which Cartman gets on top of the roof of his house and decides to try and fly with a pair of cardboard wings. The other boys egg him on, he jumps and falls flat on his face. The cartoon is very funny, but the reality of an epidemic could be very serious. Again, you must depend on your mentality to keep yourself grounded and in control. And if an ep epidemic manifests, I expect every person in this room to survive in radiant, vital, dynamic health, now and always. As Chirothesians, Dr. Bissell admonishes us often that it's our duty to be examples to others. Eliminate that fear and let your light so shine that others may see your good works and glorify the Father which is within. The beauty of this is that it is so very simple when you understand and you are all here voluntarily today. And you chose to come here because you know it's a safe environment. You can protect yourself, and it's so simple to do so. You don't have to learn a language or a secret word or travel thousands of miles. The key is your mentality. Choose life. I chose the Bible verses this morning from the book of Luke for the phrase, physician heal thyself. Interestingly enough, the verses we heard about, the verses we heard talk about how Jesus was able to walk through the angry and frightened crowd. This serves as a model for us, as our job is to walk untouched through the fear spread throughout our society. It's an example of how we live in the world but are not a part of it. Just as Jesus was able to live in the world without becoming part of the fear or anger, so it is our job to live in the world without succumbing to the fear of the swine flu or any other fear. Rather, we must replace that fear with the peace that passeth all understanding. And that's something we can all, sim all do simply by choosing to do so. Choose radiant, vital, dynamic health. Now and always, remember in your meditations to realize that radiant, vital, dynamic health and send those thoughts throughout your body to every cell, every nerve, every gland, every organ, so that your whole body functions in concert together in radiant, vital, dynamic health. Use common sense where your health is concerned. Wash your hands frequently. Cover your mouth when you sneeze. Avoid contacting those who may appear ill. Remember that you are responsible for maintaining radiant, vital, dynamic health. Use your auric shield whenever you're out in public. Don't step into an elevator with first, without first raising the auric shield. If you have to travel by bus, subway, taxi, or plane, remember to put up your auric shield before you enter and keep it up while you're traveling and wash your hands frequently and especially, once again, after you've reached your destination. Remember that with God, all things are possible. You can maintain radiant, vital, dynamic health for yourself and for your loved ones in spite of what you might hear about in the outside world. Thank you for your attention this morning and join me now in the acceptance statement. Now, may the light illumine our mind with wisdom. May love fill our heart with understanding. May the one life shine forth from our innermost being so that we walk renewed in light, life, and love today, tomorrow, and forever.